let us solve this problems from signals and systems a continuous time signal x of t is given as cos of 200 pi t and this signal is sampled for t is equal to n by 400 that is the continuous time signal is converted to a discrete time signal and further for the discrete time signal dft is calculated this is the equation for dft now which of the following statements is true is asked and for dft the non zero values of dft is to be concluded and the options are x of k is non zero for all k option b x of 4 is non zero option c x of t x of 2 and x of 6 are non zero option d x of 3 and x of 5 are non zero x of t is a signal which is cos of 200 pi t. Now it is sampled at t is equal to n by 400 that is wherever there is t I will replace it with n by 400. So this will make it cos of n pi by 2 and the variation of n is from 0 to 7 that would mean this is a 8 point signal 8 point signal would mean x of n will have a dft x of k so this would be a 8 point dft now using this formula that is listed if you have to calculate the 8 point DFT, it is a very tedious process. So, we will make use of some properties to calculate the 8 point DFT. The signal that is mentioned here is x of n is equal to cos of cos of n pi by 2. I will try to make use of the Euler's property and express this as e to the power of j n pi by 2 into 1 plus e to the power of minus j n pi by 2 into 1 whole divided by 2. There is a reason for me to express this in terms of this point 1 here in terms of 1 here because this is a standard result in DFT that I can use here. Let me consider this signal y of n which is equal to 1 of length n that is the variation is from 0 to n minus 1. For such a signal I have a standard result that the dft y of k will be equal to n for k equal to 0 and 0 otherwise. So once I make use of this result I can actually conclude that for this being an 8 point DFT, that is let me consider y of n which is 1 for n varying from 0 to 7, it is an 8 point signal. This will have a DFT y of k is equal to from the same result 8 for k equal to 0 and 0 otherwise, 0 otherwise would mean k varying from 1 2 up to 7. This is the result. Keeping that in mind, I will just try to rewrite this equation now as wherever there is 1, wherever there is 1, remember x of n here is a 8 point DFT. So wherever there is 1, I will replace 1 with y of n. That was the reason initially I have expressed this as there is an additional 1 term that I have added here. So that would mean y of n is equal to e to the power of j n pi by 2. Okay, this is x of n. x of n is equal to e to the power of j n pi by 2 into y of n plus e to the power of minus j n pi by 2 into y of n whole divided by 2. Now, 
I'll make use of the shifting property, frequency shifting property in DTFT, in DFT. That is, the property tells me, let's say I have a signal F of N with DFT F of K, then F of N into e to the power of j 2 pi by n into n into k naught that is complex exponential multiplication in one domain will add to shift in the other domain that means it will be equivalent to f of k minus k naught with this in mind let me try to express these complex exponentials in the form of e to the power of j 2 pi by n into n into k naught where the capital N is 8. So I will just rewrite this as x of n is equal to e to the power of j I will have to write it in 2 pi by 8 form 2 pi by 8 to make it n pi by 2 I will multiply it with 2n into y of n plus e to the power of j 2 pi by 8 into minus 2n into y of n whole divided by 2. Now for this expression that I have written on both the sides I will take dft but with the help of this shifting property. So x of n will have a dft x of k here this complex exponential multiplication, complex exponential multiplication will add to shift in the other domain and what is that shift? Shift if you observe here it is k0, k0 is a coefficient of 2 pi by n into small n, even here 2 pi by n into n the coefficient is 2 here but whenever there is a 2 here k0 here will add to a negative sign here that would mean the dft would be y of k minus 2 plus y of k plus 2 whole divided by 2. Now this question asks me what are the values of x of k for which dft is non-zero. If you observe this result here I know that y of k is non-zero only at k is equal to 0 and if I compare with that particular result if I observe here y of k is non-zero. So I will precisely write the equations here for which x of k is non-zero. So 1 is x of 2 would mean y of 0 plus y of 4 whole by 2. But if you observe what I have written here the property here x of y of 4 is actually 0 here. So this will be 0. So this will be y of 0 by 2 which is in fact y of 0 as well is 8 here. So this would be 8 by 2 which is equivalent to 4. So one answer obviously is x of 2 is giving me a non-zero value. Another would be I know from here that yes for k equal to 2 it will result in y of 0, y of 0 is non-zero resulting in x of k non-zero. Another is k is equal to minus 2 will also result in y of 0 making x of k non-zero. So I will find the value of that particular x of minus 2 as well. x of minus 2 would be y of minus 4 plus y of 0 whole divided by 2. Now, this would mean there is a property for DFT. DFT is inherently periodic. Inherently periodic means the periodicity, this is an 8 point DFT that we are discussing. 8 point DFT is inherently periodic with period 8. Inherently periodic with period 8 means even if I add 8 to the argument, it remains the same. So I can also write y of minus 4 as I will add 8 to the argument it will become y of 4 plus y of 0 by 2. So 
this term now is also 0 why because y of 4 if you observe y of 4 will again be 0 so this will be 0 so this will also be y of 0 by 2 which is also equivalent to 4 so x of minus 2 now you observe is also non-zero but again the property I can again use of the property that because DFTs are inherently periodic x of minus 2 I can also add 8 to the argument because we are discussing an 8 point DFT here that is x of 6 is also equivalent to 4 which is again non-zero so the two x of k's which are non-zero is x of 6 which is 4 and x of 2 it is also non-zero so the final answer will be x of 2 and x of 6 are non-zero and if you go back to the options it is option c in the answer x of 2 and x of 6 are non-zero now the same problem we will try solving it using a method 2 x of t is cos 200 pi t and on sampling x of n is cos of n pi by 2 and it's an 8 point signal now if we just observe this discrete sinusoidal signal let me call it as some f of n cos of n pi by 2 this signal is in fact periodic with period 2 pi by omega naught which is equivalent to 2 pi by pi by 2 which is equivalent to 4 so now I can rewrite my x of n in fact as x of n remember is a 8 point signal as f of n comma f of n because f of n is a 4 point signal because f of n is periodic with period 4 now such a signal that is whenever you have periodic repetitions for the same signal you can have a result for dft and that result would be let's say x of n has a dft x of k f of n has a dft f of k then this particular equation connecting them will have a dft x of k is equal to 2 times f of k by 2 this would mean I can conclude the result of this 8 point DFT just by calculating f of k which is a 4 point DFT. Now what is the signal f of n? f of n is cos of n pi by 2 which will be equal to 0 which will be equal to 1 for n is equal to 0 0 for n is equal to 1 minus 1 for n is equal to 2 and 0 for n is equal to 3 and for this signal if you calculate the 4 point DFT it works out as 0 2 0 2 now to conclude the answer it's relatively easy x of k is equal to f of k by 2 2 times f of k by 2 now if x of k has to be non-zero x of k has to be non-zero f of k by 2 has to be non-zero now we know there are only two samples of f of k which are non-zero that is this is f of 1 and this is f of 3 that is f of 1 will be non-zero as well as f of 3 will be non-zero so x of k to be zero non-zero f of k by 2 should be non-zero this will happen when k by 2 is either 1 or 
when k is equal to 2 or when k by 2 is also equivalent to 3 which should mean k is equal to 6. That means when k is equal to x of 2 and x of 6 are non-zero. This will again be option C.